Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only general reading. Always take what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of November, as usual, I have a special sales offer available, and for this month, it's inspired in the current Scorpio season we are on, and if you would like to know more details about it, just read the description box or email me with your questions, um, and if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Pisces... You you might through the through November. I'm sorry. Um, you might be dealing with unwanted, uh, some sort of unwanted restriction. There's a feeling of an obstacle, a limitation, um, a no in terms of answer or a closed door, that you might not be anticipating or that you might not be foreseeing that ends up occurring and really acting as this big um, transformational event. I feel that for some of you, for some Pisces, especially for Pisces that have open businesses, for some of you there can be and there it can be because of this pandemic situation, it can be because any reason, but I feel like for Pisces that do have uh, physical businesses, you know, your 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 door might be closed because authorities say so. So there might be, again, restrictions imposed on um, something you own or in something you were just freely living that sudden, suddenly, you know, stops being just about your freedom of action, if you know what I mean. Uh, I do sense that uh, some of you will be needing to listen to advice. You will be needing to listen to uh, people um, that are knowledgeable about certain things you need knowledge in and it can be in the law or it can be business it can be accounting it can be so many different things but the point is that in order to find an intelligent and and, and a solution that ultimately is going to lead you to I'm not sure if it's solving this or if it's renewing this, because I feel like for some of you it's more about this reset. It's about an opportunity to do something different from what was being done, even if you feel like what, what was being done was the right thing. It's like this is an, a blessing, what we call a blessing in disguise, that you will not see it right away. It might take a couple of months for you to see how is this a blessing. So your advice here to not fall into any kind of, I don't want to say desperation or maybe desperation or anguish, because this is something that, you know, is happening really here for a reason. Um... You know that saying like when door when God closes a door it opens a window this kind of vibe. So be as as open minded as possible. Um, when you're faced with any kind of limitation in November, because it can be a month that is just uh, has a high tendency to bring you um, limitations and restrictions that either you're not used to or you're just not, you know, you would, you didn't feel that you would be dealing with this kind of, this kind of problem, or you didn't thought that a situation would end the way it might be ending, 
that's another possibility. This is also a month where there can be certain endings, endings to bad habits, endings to toxic relationships or uh, relationships that are not serving you, relationships that are more based on manipulation or sexual uh, reasons here. I feel that um, meaning that there are some Pisces that could be having here like affairs or things of that nature. And for those that that is true, no judgment, of course, but it just might be something that you might need to end in November uh, to give permission to this situation to transform, including to give yourself permission to transform because all the negatives or perceived negatives occurring in November are to transform you, are to help you get rid of things that are becoming dead weights. I do feel that it's a complicated month for some of you Pisces because it will ask that you really accept uh, things to be happening in a total different way from what you wanted it wanted wanted them to happen. I do feel that some of you you could be in in situations where uh, you know it's almost like you're receiving ultimatums, so you're going to be forced to make decisions that might be uncomfortable for the higher good. It could also be that. It could be that you're forced to put end to certain things because you're going to be pushed here into a corner. And it could be you're doing this, your higher self doing this to your... your higher self doing this to you. So it's like... it's almost like the two two aspects of you fighting with each other. And the one in the higher conscious winning, subduing the other, to listen and to obey in a way. Or it could be authority figures in general in your life that will have this effect on you. I do feel that uh, other Pisces, in a more positive sense, there's also a group of Pisces here that in November could just be shedding a lot of dead skin. And that's... Um, something that's going to be felt as a huge relief to like um, a sensation of really being free of something that took a long time or it was like a painful process to really have that skin off you you know that dead skin so you could be coming to a point where you see the renewal where you see uh, the difference in you or in the situation that has been difficult, that has been bringing you pain. And this relief, um, for some of you Pisces, this relief is a constant feeling you want to return to during November when things might be more scary or depressive, okay, because November can be a little bit depressive for some of you. It can be. Um, you, but you're also advised if you're doing things that per se you shouldn't do, if you know you're doing things you, you know you shouldn't be doing, you're advised to really keep quiet about that. Like, don't share that information with anyone. Don't share in any kind of way. Keep it to yourself. Because November is one of those months where you can put yourself into trouble by sharing things you shouldn't be sharing. Because you never know who is listening and you never know who can use that um, against you. So I hope you have a great month. I want to thank all of you. Um, that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll uh, see each other soon.